good morning friend today we are going to see distributed ir which is the part of the syllabus of information storage and travel of unit number 4 distributed computing is the application of the multiple computers connected by a network to solve a single problem a distributed computer system is like a mimd that is a multiple instruction stream multiple data stream parallel processor a relatively slow inter process communication channel and a freedom to employ a heterogeneous collection of processor in the system now distributed computing is the application of multiple computers connected by a network to solve problem now distributed systems typically consist of a set of processors each uh, running on separate separate processing node that is server and a broker process responsible for accepting the client request distributing the request to the server collecting intermediate results from the servers and combining the intermediate results into a final result for the client in uh, distributed computing the subtasks run on different computers and the communication between the task subtask is performed using a network protocol such as tcp ip that is transfer control protocol and internet protocol it is also more common to employ a procedure for selecting a subset of the distributed server for processing a particular request rather than broadcasting every request to every server in the system next is algorithmic ir issues how to distribute documents how to distribute documents across the distributed search server first is the collection partitioning how to select which server should receive a particular search request that is the source selection and how to combine the results from the different server that is the merging the results now first is the collection partitioning in a decentralized system in a system comprising independently administered heterogeneous search server the distributed document collections will be built and maintained independently there is no central control of the document partitioning procedure it may be that each search server is focused on a particular subject area the collection can be replaced replicated across all the search servers appropriate when the collection is small enough to fit on a single search server but high availability and query processing through out are required the parallelism in the system is being exploited via multitasking and the brokers job is to route queries to the search server and balance the loads of the server next is indexing part indexing of partitions that is in a centralized system indexing the documents is handled in one of the way two ways each search server separately indexes its replica to the documents of the documents actually each server is assigned a mutually exclusive subset of documents to index and the index subsets are replicated across search servers and uh, a merge of the subsets required at each server to create the final index next is collection partitioning in a centralized system the second option random distribution of the document appropriate when a large document or collection must be distributed for performance reason but the documents will always be viewed and searched as if they are part of single logical collection the broker broadcast every query 
to all the search server and combine the results for the user the third option explicit semantic partitioning of the document which are either already organized into semantically meaningful collection such as by technical discipline or an automatic clustering or categorization procedure is used to partition the documents into subject specific collection next part is source selection source selection is process of determining which of the distributed document collection are most likely to contain relevant documents for the current query simple approach assume that every collection is equally likely always broadcast the query to all the collections appropriate when documents are randomly partitioned or there is significant semantic overlap between the collection the collection can also be ranked according to their likelihood of containing relevant documents this is appropriate first is if documents are partitioned into semantically meaningful collection or it is prohibitively expensive to search every collection every time the basic technique treat each collection as if it is if it were a single large document generate a collection vector for each collection and evaluate the query vector against each collection vector to produce a ranked listing of collection a standard cosine similarity measure can be used to calculate a turn frequency into inverted document frequency term weight in the collection of vector term frequency tfij that is the j term in ith document its frequency term frequency is the total number of occurrences of i in collection j and the inverted document frequency idea for term i is log capital n to the base n i where n capital n is the total number of collections and small n i is the number of collection in which term i appears next is a danger of the approach is uh, that although a particular collection may receive a high query relevance score there may not be individual documents within the collection that receive a high query relevance score the problem can be avoided by indexing each collection as a series of block where each block contains capital b documents the query is evaluated against each block and the score for a collection is computed from the score of its block next is alternative approach to indexing collection training queries a set of training queries are used to build a content model for each collection when a new query is submitted to the system it is similarity to the training queries is computed and the content model is used to determine which collection should be searched is and how many documents from each collection should be written so in the next lecture we will going to see query processing